The reason that men are drawn to these very strong, heartless, masculine men like Andrew Tate and Kevin Samuels is because they represent the first time they've seen a strong man. If you're a man that was raised by a mother and had no father in the home, you not only lacked a male role model, many of these men started to see women as in charge in a relationship and their role as the inferior submissive people pleasing man, the doormat. And these strong men, heartless, without their hearts, um, represent the first time that they're like, oh my God, a man can be in charge. A man can be a leader. I hope eventually they'll look at men like Jordan Peterson, Joe Rogan, and so on as better models. But it was a huge, it's a huge wake up call that feels good to them to not have to be afraid of women and be submissive. In the same way that maybe Megan Markle and Amber Heard woke me up to the fact that I don't have to be inferior to men in a fawning position. So that's what I learned recently from talking with a man.